All right, so what do you do when you're feeling lost? Now, this is coming from a position where I'm here with you. I am not the all authority giving you knowledge. I'm here with you giving my reasoning for what I'm going to do because I feel lost. Now, I know that it's gonna be beneficial for me in the long run to find the one thing that I love doing, to find the one thing that I'm passionate about, my follow, following my bliss, finding my passion, finding the one thing that I'm amazing at, finding my life purpose. I want to find that one thing that I can become so skilled at that I want to become the best in the world at it. Because you know that you're going to get intense, pleasurable feelings. And I don't mean fun. I don't mean getting high. I don't mean doing drugs to make you feel happy or to have fun. I'm talking about deep fulfillment that comes from two things, personal growth and having an impact on other people. I need to find that one thing that I can become so good at and that I love doing so much that I'm going to become the best at the world at it. So skillful that I'm on the cutting edge, innovating and using that research to impact other people's lives. That's what I want to do. That is my life mission. Now I've got to find that one thing that I'm so skillful of that I want to become the best in the world at, that I want to have skill that have an impact on other people. Now to find that thing, because I'm not 100% sure on what it is, I'm going through an intense period of exploration. Now what I'm gonna be doing very specifically is 90 days at a time, I'm gonna be picking one activity and I'm gonna be diving deep into that activity, spending all of my spare time learning about that activity, doing that activity, getting better at that activity. So recently I've been cycling a lot on my bike. And I've always had a bike and I've always cycled to and from places. But recently, since I've been cycling every single day, because, you know, I don't have a car, I don't have a bus pass, uh, cycling is my mode of transport, I realized that I love cycling. And it's only since I started doing it every day and I feel like I'm improving at the skill of cycling, although it's a bit of a weird one, but I love like maneuvering in between traffic and just going as fast as I can in busy areas, turning corners nicely. As weird as it sounds, I love that. I love doing that. And that gives me pleasure in itself, not because I want to get to a place, not because I want to become fit and healthy because of cycling, and not even because I want to become good at cycling. I do it and I enjoy doing it just for the fact of doing it in itself. I don't love it for any external circumstances, I just love doing it. And it's crazy to me that I only found that pleasure once I got good at cycling, once I got fit, once I got good at maneuvering my bike. Then and only then did I start getting that pleasurable feelings towards cycling, that intrinsic pleasure towards cycling. So I'm going through these 90 day periods where I'm gonna get good at that skill. And once I get good at it, then I'm gonna see whether it's enough of a passion, whether it's giving me more energy than it takes to keep on doing it. Because you'll find that if you try something new, you're not going to like it straight away. The chance that that gives you intrinsic pleasure straight away is very unlikely. Chances are you're gonna to have to do it a lot and lot and lot of times. And when you get good at it, when you get better at it, that is when the pleasure will start to kick in. So for me, feeling lost, not tr not knowing that one thing that's gonna give me intrinsic pleasure, the thing that I wanna become the best in the world at, I'm gonna be trying different things in every 90 days. And after 90 days, I'll reevaluate and say whether that was a good thing for me or whether that was not a good thing for me. Now, I think that my, my uh, zone of expertise, the thing that I wanna follow with all of my heart, the thing I wanna become amazing at, it's something to do with psychology because I realized that everything I do, Stoicism, the reason I like Stoicism is because of the psychology side of it. I've learned about cognitive behavioral therapy and that is for the psychology side of it. All of the different things I do, all of the philosophy that I learned about, all of the different activities I do, learning about marketing, I realized that that is all because I enjoy the psychology side of it. So I'm going through different little aspects of that mind, of that like, you know, mind, the psychology side of things to try and find my pleasure. And I'll keep you guys updated and I'll let you guys know if I find anything, uh, you know, of importance.